Good morning guys. Welcome to a spend a weekend with me. I know it's been a while since I've done a vlog, but I've been very busy with trying to get my life together and trying to get ready to move. And also a couple of changes have happened. If you follow me on TikTok, you already know I dyed my hair myself. I got the blue black going and I got blue where I used to have blonde. Did it myself. And I love the way it came out. But oh and I also got nails. I'm just like a whole new bitch. So you're coming back to a whole new bitch. And it's just really exciting for me. But anyways, welcome to spend a weekend with me. Today is Thursday. I do work today, but I only work five hours this morning. So not too much. So Mark and I are gonna have a quick, delicious lunch afterwards as well. I don't know where we're going. I just know we're going somewhere. So that is happening. But right now I just got my makeup and hair all done up. I'm just gonna pick my outfit and get ready to go get some coffee because, do I need it? Possibly, because I feel like caffeine has been helping me become a better person and to be a lot more friendly to customers because if I don't have it I just want to go home and not want to deal with anybody so let's get ready to do that these press-ons are from Shein by the way I will or will in the future or have already put up a haul I don't know which one's going first I think it'll be the Shein haul first but look how cute I love them can you say good morning noise noise I haven't seen you in the vlog in so long. Hi, baby. Look at your feet. Look at you. Yoshi, want to say hi to the vlog? Okay. This is also a situation that's been happening because of humidity. The shit's leaking and it's fucked up my walls. And yeah, that's been very fun. I think for an outfit today, I'm gonna go with a simple black long sleeve, right? It's a nice, comfortable material. I think with some cargo pants, like this will be cute. I've already worn these before. I've also shown them on my TikTok. So I have styled them before, but I've only worn them once. So I'm like this with like the long sleeve is like so basic, but so comfortable. And then of course I'll accessorize and put some shoes on, but. I think that's gonna be the vibe today. Okay, I'll show you guys the rest of the outfit, but I just put on these little earrings on. I was gonna put a necklace, but I wear a lanyard, so who cares? And then just put some, just a few silver rings on. Let me show you guys the outfit. Don't mind the dirty mirror. I know, it's dirty. It's gonna get cleaned eventually, but here is the outfit. I thought it was super cute, super casual, but like still fun at the same time. I love these pants, by the way. This is all Route 21, except the shoes are Sweetie's fashion, but I love this outfit. I just got to work, but I ended up getting Carl's Jr. instead. Got a breakfast burger, and I also got a Diet Coke. Look at this greasy goodness. Oh, it's so good. Just got home and I think I want to go in with a mask. I'm going to go in with this Vitam Mask <laughs> Electrolyte Watermelon Hydrating Mask because I feel like I haven't done one in a while so I really want to do one. I haven't tried this brand before. But it's just a sheet mask so you're just going to apply it and leave on for 20 minutes. I might leave it for like half an hour. This one looks really pretty and I love the packaging. Good morning guys, happy Friday. It is about 6.04 in the morning. I just went and dropped Mark off at work because he got a flat tire, so I did have to take him to work today. He got flat yesterday, and he has a good tire today, but I had to take him to work today, so. Here I am awake, I just got out of CVS. I had to get some Tylenol because Miss Mother Nature's coming soon and I need to be stocked up and ready. I forgot to get pads, but it's fine. I have like extras, good just in case, but. I did buy Tylenol because just in case I get a headache or a migraine or anything like that, I'm going to need my Tylenol. Look at my nails. This one just broke today, but my thumb broke yesterday for the second time. So, uh, the, again, these are from Shein. They are the Shein nails. Um, they're like a like $1.50, $2.50, which is cheap. They look so good, but 
It's not the part where, the, where they're falling off that's the problem. It's just that they break so easy. Cause like the plastic is like cheap, you know, but like the nails itself are cute. But I have extras, so I can put a new one on, on each one. So I'm gonna do that when I get home. First, I'm gonna go get a coffee at McDonald's. That way I can go home and make some breakfast and get ready for my day. I might as well um, get the whole day started and it runs my errands this morning. And hopefully film a video before I do all that because it's still early, it's still only six o'clock. So hopefully I can get everything done in time. It's about 6.30, so I'm gonna come to Smith's and get things for my dinner tonight. Might as well, I'm like a little busted but it was across the street from gas, so. All right, I just got back from the store. I've been out for an hour. I got gas, I went and got, got coffee, I did groceries, and I'm pretty sure I did something else, but I don't remember. I went to drop off a coffee to my mom's house, and I'm now home. So I am gonna make breakfast. I'm gonna show you guys really quick what I got at the grocery store. So I found a recipe to do like a shrimp stir fry. So I really was in the mood for shrimp, but I wanted to do something, I guess, Asian inspired. So I got some shrimp. This one's already peeled, deveined, and the shell is off. So this is perfect, easy. Also got some broccoli, some bell pepper, some ginger, an onion, and I also got rice wine, uh, not, not rice wine, it's rice vinegar. Just a basic rice vinegar, chicken stock, and snow peas. And I also got Chinese five spice. I never tried this spice before, so hopefully it's good. But everything else I do have in, um, I have in the fridge, like I have honey, I have sriracha, red pepper flakes, all that other stuff that I'm gonna need. So this was just the basic stuff that I went for and I'm super excited to make dinner tonight. I'm in the middle of making breakfast, but I wanted to show you guys my package from Jerlin Boutique. Look at how cute. She did like a whole rebrand and everything. I still have the same discount code if you guys are interested. And it also came with some freebies. Look how cute these are. I can't wait to put them on my fingers. Look at how badass these rings look. I freaking love them. Oh my god, how pretty. Thank you so much. They are so cute. Here is the first bodysuit I got. Um, keep in mind, I did order this before I changed my hair. So I wish I would have got a different color because now it kind of... I mean, it's okay with my hair because I have blue, but... I wish I would have got like a black or like the brown one would have been super cute, but it's okay because I really love this one. And it's just a really soft material and it's double layered, so it's not going to be see-through. I got mine in a size medium and it does have the thong clip and it just feels really soft and comfortable. Uh, it, um, this one did come in different colors, but I love this one so far. This one is the one I'm most excited for. I absolutely love this this is so cute this is supposed to be like a skims dupe it does have a built-in bra as you can see it's kind of like a spandexy like stretchy material right here really soft and then a thong clip as well it looks so good like the cut of it is gonna make my boobs look so good i wish i would have also got this in black i would have loved it in black too because i just love the shape of it i think it's very very flattering and yeah, the straps are adjustable. Look at this. This is just so cute. It's such bomb quality. Like I wouldn't expect anything less from Jillian Boutique, to be honest. Gonna crisp up some turkey bacon. Also got some eggs and cheese. I'm gonna put it on top of my eggs. Not sure if I ever showed you guys my favorite turkey bacon. It's from Jenny O. It's already uh, fully cooked. I just like to crisp it up a little bit. And I love it because it's 60% um, less fat and sodium, only 30 calories per serving and the turkey is raised with no hormones or steroids, so that's what you look for, especially if you have anxiety, like you want to stay away from deli meats that have hormones or extra steroids or anything like that, and it's just better for you, so that's why I love this brand, because it's really, really healthy for you, and again, with no hormones and stuff, and there's no sugar or anything like that in the meat at all, so it's just like one of my favorite ones. Again, sorry about the dirty ass mirror, but here's the OOTD, just a basic black, really soft, comfortable top and just some straight leg jeans with some sneakers and outfit in the hair, have it half up. I am going very extra with the blue lipstick, but it was calling my name today, so I just had to do it, so his outfit. Here's a better view of the makeup and the hair. Super cute, super casual with the blue. I mean, people are always going to stare anyway, so I might as well just wear, a, it's like a statement lipstick, just for fun. But I love it. I got to go to, I'm going to go thrifting, see if we can find any cool stuff so I could do another YouTube video. Then you go to Dollar Tree and I forgot where else. I think that's it. Oh, I need, I need to get a car wash and I need to go to the post office. I need to pack an order real quick so I can go to the post office. And I think that'll be it. And then I can come home and film a Shein haul because I still haven't done that. So 
It's going to be a busy morning and it's already 9 a.m. I've been up since, again, 5.30, so hopefully I can get stuff done. I haven't shown you in the vlog yet, silly nilly. Luna, where the fuck is your collar? You're naked. Sorry if you hear leaking. It's my AC. Again, with the humidity, it leaks. But I wanted to package this Poshmark order really quick. She ordered six items, which I love. So she got this little, hopefully you guys can see, but like this little top right here. Super cute. This is just like a one like that I didn't wear. This one, I do have a few left in this one. Cute little white top. Did also order this smock dress. I hope you guys can see the dress. She also got this little Powerpuff Girl PJ set that I only wore one time. It also comes with matching shorts. It's super cute. I just wore it once and I'm not gonna wear it again. So, and here are the matching little shorts. I also got this top right here, super cute. I do have two, one or two more of these left on my Poshmark as well. Of course, my Poshmark is down below if you guys want to purchase anything. Oh, and she also got earrings. Let me grab those. She also bought these super cute earrings, little boho earrings, and I'm gonna add these for free to her order. They're little daisy earrings. I thought they would be so cute with like this little her, no, her package. Um, I do send a free gift with every order. So again, if you guys want to shop my Poshmark, everything be, will be down below. Super cute stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and package this up. I ran out of bubble mailers for the earrings, so I've just been putting them in these little tiny mailers. I don't use them that often, so I might as well use them for this. It's so empty this morning, yay! came to Ross real quick to see if I could find something. I need to try these on. Hopefully they work out, but I also found these shoes. Oh, these are so cute. I can't wait to try those on. This one is cute, but it has a weird stain. And a little too short. Okay, Ross was a bust. At Goodwill, I did end up getting two little slip dresses, so I'll show you guys that at home. I tried ev almost everything on, and I hated everything. The shoes didn't fit me. I went in there originally looking for a purse, but they didn't have a purse. Uh, the purses were empty, so I didn't find anything, and I was so sad. So I'm probably gonna go to Target because I'm looking for that elf little puff. And then there's somebody moving next to me and I don't know if they're looking at me. So that's why I'm not looking at the camera because I don't want them to look at me. Okay, they're backing up. I'm trying to look for that elf little um, eye puff. So hopefully they have it at my Target. My Target's always fucking late on getting things. So I don't think they'll have it. And then I want to stop at the 99 cent store here real quick to see if they have those pink soups because Mark loves those and he only had it one time and he cannot find them ever again. So I'm gonna try to see if they have them because I've seen on TikTok that they have them. So hopefully they have those soups there for him. They do have the soups. That's so cool. I grabbed like this. And this little guy. I remembered this time to get a car wash. So I made it. So I can get a car wash. My car was so nasty. Look, that's me. Good morning. Happy Saturday. So yesterday, I didn't finish, finish vlogging. I didn't even really make dinner anyway, but I just went to hang out at my mom's and I also just played Borderlands with Mark and we also got Subway before all of that. So like I didn't get to make dinner. Oh my God, I need to put my sunglasses on. It is barely about 6.30 in the morning. I am up per usual. I'm gonna go get a Dutch Bros because yesterday I went to Dutch Bros, which I think I forgot to show you guys, but I went to Dutch Bros yesterday and I forgot how much I love it and they have sugar free like a lot of sugar free options so I'm like um yeah I'm gonna go get another Dutch Bros today 
and then you know get, get breakfast well not get breakfast I'm gonna make breakfast and then that way I can be productive I have a few videos to film today I think I'm gonna film three videos today I think I'm gonna do my Shein haul I also want to do a product empties because my empties bin is full again and I need to do another product empties and I also want to do I also want to do a what's in my bag because like I told you guys yesterday I got a new purse and I'm gonna show you guys a haul of my stuff I just didn't get to it yesterday because the lighting was so bad so I was like I'll just wait for tomorrow and I'm gonna show you guys my whole haul I went obviously to Dollar Tree I went to both Dollar Trees in my town I went to both Goodwills in my town for thrifting and I also went to 99 cent store and got something super cute you guys know I got the suit but I also got something super cute for Halloween decor because even though I am moving I'm just gonna have a room to myself I still want to decorate my room for holiday because I have my decor still and I absolutely love decorating for holiday especially Halloween fall time Christmas like that is my favorite time to bring out my decor and I'm still gonna do it so I'm gonna decorate my room suck yet so I finished up my makeup to film today, but I wanted to try out this Wow, I think, Color Wow Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. Look, my fucking thumb broke. It's so stupid. But anyways, I bought this a while ago when I last went to Ulta, which I don't remember when, and my cat's right here. <laughs> so I wanted to try this out today because you're supposed to use it on a damp hair. So it says here, use every three to four shampoos, shampoo, condition, towel dry hair, Divide into sections. Spray each section liberally, comb through, and then blow dry each section using tension. I don't really know what tension means when it comes to hair, so I'll have to figure that out. But um, you do have to dry your hair like with a dryer for this to activate, for this to work. So this is supposed to like pretty much smooth down your hair, protect it from humidity, and it has been very humid here, and my hair has been very poofy and gross. So now that I've washed my hair, I'm just going to brush it out, divide it into a section, and we're going to try to spritz this and see if this works. Okay, so my hair is in sections. Let's go ahead and spray. I'm not really sure what liberally means, but I assume something like this. I like the spray on And now we do it. I think I was supposed to brush my hair after I sprayed it. Now we blow dry. So this is it halfway dry. You can't really tell. I can't really tell the difference obviously from this little chunk. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my whole head and I'll show you guys what it looks like after. way too long to fully blow dry my hair but it is semi dry but I feel like it's still a little bit frizzy not as bad because usually when I do blow dry my hair I haven't blow dry my hair in a long time but usually when I do my hair is way poofier than this 
so I feel like it did definitely sleek out my hair. It feels really soft. It did add some shine to it, as you guys can see right there. It's pretty shiny, so I really like that. You see the back. I feel like my hair feels very soft, so I really like it. You guys can see, probably a little bit of shine there. I don't know, I feel like it looks good, but I'll just leave it and update you guys a little bit later. But it is definitely not as poofy as if, if I were to actually like fully blow dry it without the thing. Because my hair is very thick and again, it's very frizzy. So I'll keep you guys updated. I won't use my smoothing serum. I'll just kind of see how it looks by itself. And yeah, it's really soft. I really like it so far. I'm about to film video number three right now, and I'm already getting really hot in this makeup room, but I have to finish what I said I was gonna finish. So I do have to finish video number three. I already filmed two videos, and I'm vlogging, and I also just did a TikTok on this haul. It's just a little thrift haul, but I'm gonna show you guys on here as well, and show you guys what I got at Dollar Tree as well. But first thing I wanna show you guys was this little skirt. Look at this. I thought this would be perfect with like some black go-go boots, like black chunky boots. Super cute. I love the color, love the material, nice and stretchy and comfortable. It was only $5.49, so I got this one. I also grabbed this really cute, like velvety, like suede button up, long, oversized. I got it in an XL, but it looks so cute when it's on. Just kind of very, like, simple, basic, but like effortless. And I also got this in an XL as well. It's like this acid wash button up. So cute. I love it. I was thinking about wearing it with like this bralette underneath it. I thought it would be perfect. Also got two slip dresses. I love buying slip dresses from um, thrift stores. This one is a Calvin Klein one, size medium, and it's a, like a mesh see-through, like reptile skin, black and gray kind of slip dress. Super sexy and fun. And this one's a Victoria's Secret slip dress. This one's in a medium as well, but it's like this really cute leopard print with a little slit kind of slip, and this is so cute. So I went to Dollar Tree and went a little ham at Dollar Tree yesterday. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. I did go to two different Dollar Trees, like I mentioned earlier, and two different Goodwills. So it was definitely a mission. But I found some makeup, thankfully. So I got some Ioni lashes, freaking finally, because my Dollar Tree closer to me doesn't have shit. They don't have anything, no decor up. Like everything is empty. There's boxes everywhere. And I just wanted to go and just help them out and unbox everything. Like I'm sure they're probably low staffed and I just want to go in there and help because it looks like they, they, they were just not organized and didn't have stuff out, which is really sad because it's so annoying when I have to, when I have to go on TikTok and see everybody's Dollar Tree have all the good stuff and then it goes to mine and it's empty and I feel bad. But that's just like first world problems, like whatever. Anyways, my second Dollar Tree did have some Ioni lashes. This is the Day of the Dead one. This one's the Feathery Cluster long lashes i got two because i thought they looked so cute and so adorable so i got two of those and i also got their two-in-one lash glue liner it's a felt tip liner so i really love like two-in-one lash glue liner so i'm excited about this one i can't wait to try this one out also grabbed a, a nail brush because now that i have nails i do need to brush underneath my nails sometimes so i did get one of these because i didn't have one I also ended up grabbing some little planters. I do have two little cactuses in my kitchen and I want them to have a little bit more space. I feel like they're kind of trapped in the little cup. So I want to give them a little bit of a bigger one. Again, I have two and I did buy soil from there as well. I don't know if it's good soil or if it's what I'm supposed to use for a cactus, but I bought it anyway. I'm not good with plants. Like cactus, I think is like the only one because I'm allergic to a lot of plants. Like I'm allergic to pollen. So it's just like, I can't like it, it makes me die like I have really bad allergies during like all year round for a lot of things but like like plants are like a thing where I have to stay, stay away from plants but cactus I can have so I hope they will survive in these and in the soil that I get them I also stocked up on some things that I already love which is the makeup vanishing towels if you guys already see my Dollar Tree must-haves or just see my vlogs in general you guys know I freaking love these I usually have some in that basket right there but I am low and I have to wash them but I just don't want to be without them. So I bought three more. I absolutely love these. These I found in the makeup section. So if you guys go to the makeup section, you'll find them. These are the best makeup removing towels. They're so soft. They don't tug at your skin. They just take your makeup off effortlessly. I just love these. And they're pink. Like, they're cute. And they're machine washable. I just love this. I love these. That's why I grabbed three more. I probably have, like, seven now. But I love these. 
Another Dollar Tree favorite of mine is the microfiber hair wraps. I already have two. I just wanted to get two more just to have extras because I don't like to be without them. I love them. I got two more colors. I got a pink and a like, what is it, like a mint green color. I just love these towels. Again, if you've seen my Dollar Tree must have. So you definitely should if you haven't, by the way. But I love these hair towels. Definitely my favorite ones and they're affordable. So these are bomb. Lastly, I just grabbed some organizing items because I needed to find ways to fit more space when I move because I won't have a lot of space for my clothes and stuff. So I decided to grab these. They are collapsible storage containers. So I'm thinking about putting these in like the second rail of my little wardrobe metal thingy that I bought. There's like two sections to it because the bottom, if I put hanging clothes, my cats will like go under there and they'll just attach their hair all over the clothes. So I thought maybe if I have like one of each, like one, like two next to each other on that rail, I think this will work. Maybe, maybe to have like my graphic tees folded or like Mark's shirt or something, something like that. Something needs to work there. So I bought two of them just so I can figure that out. And then I also got these collapsible storage containers. These I'm actually gonna put in our bathroom. So my sister and I are going to like um, use my table that I have in my living room, just kind of like add these for like storage so we can put them in the bathroom. Cause there's a lot of people living in that house. So we're gonna need to figure out whose stuff is whose for the bathroom. Cause you know, that shit costs money. There's a lot of people in that house, like I said. So I got four of them and I think that's a perfect amount for everybody to get their, all their stuff organized and together. So, and they're black. So that kind of goes with the bathroom because the bathroom is red, black, and white. So I was like, I think my sister will appreciate these. So I did get these. I want to show you guys a super cute thing I got at the 99 cent store as well when I went and got the soups yesterday. It's like a candy holder, but I think I'm probably going to put like a candle or something else in here, like super cute. But look at him. I love him. He was the only one there. There was also like a cat looking guy with like the same tugs, but I love this one. It was $5.99. A candy bowl. Thank you. That was the word. But look at him. I love him. I can't wait to decorate my room for the holidays. I think I'm going to end the vlog here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I still had a few clips left, but this vlog was already getting super long. So I hope that's okay. And I will vlog again as soon as I'm finished, you know, moving and stuff because right now as you guys can see I am in the middle of it and it's been a mission so anyways thank you guys so much for watching stay tuned for the next upcoming vlogs I love you guys so much and I'll see you on the next video bye